Seems like forever ago that in 1986, Hyundai was introduced to the US market with the Hyundai Excel. Now, Hyundai owns a roughly 4%, which is a really robust amount of US sales for their vehicles, making Hyundai very, very common and a popular choice for many vehicle owners, and one that you're gonna need to service in the future. This one just came back from the body shop. We had a windshield replaced, and it was also involved in a small rear fender bender where the bumper was removed, so the blind spot monitors need to be calibrated as well. We're gonna walk through that procedure on this 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz next. So I'm sure you've watched a lot of our other ADOS related videos on the Hunter YouTube page before. So some of this may sound like something you've heard before, but the first thing we always wanna do before we begin any ADOS procedure is to do a pre-scan on the vehicle to make sure there are no DTCs present or any problems that would be associated with the damage that could interfere or cause us problems with the calibration. So we've got our VCI hooked up to the vehicle. We're gonna auto ID that. And of course, we'll cycle the ignition real quick. Now, maybe hard to see on here. On the screen, it is warning you, and it goes away quick. This is something you need to be aware of. Make sure your software is the current version 5.16 to be able to access Kia and Hyundai Secure Gateway. Some of you in the industry probably remember and hear, have heard that term before. Uh, Stellantis vehicles use a secure gateway. So the newest software version can get in and unlock that secure gateway, which just allows us to have access to the ADOS controllers. The other tool you really, really need to have on your test drive is a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot connected to your tablet. So don't run it off the shop Wi-Fi because when we drive this vehicle, you cannot lose Wi-Fi access. If you lose Wi-Fi access, you're gonna get kicked out of a secure gateway and there goes your calibration. You have to start all over. So I am using this as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot on my tablet right now. Current version, again, is 5.16. Read DTCs. I'm gonna select all of the modules. It'll take a couple minutes, but I do like to see all DTCs for my pre-scan. And we'll select pre-scan because remember, we wanna provide this to the customer as a pre, and we'll also have our post scan at the end, and the ADOS link will also provide us with that detailed report showing a successful calibration, I hope. <laughs> we'll give this a minute to go through its scan, goes by real quick through editing, and just pay attention to your ADOS related modules, make sure there's no DTCs when this is done. So we've completed our pre-scan. There are no DTCs related to anything associated with the ADOS system. We did verify that they also used OEM glass. It's been a, bit of a little bit of a problem in the industry lately with these aftermarket glass companies creating problems in the windshield camera that can show up later. Also, I did find out from the body shop that they only had to remove the rear bumper to repair it. So it doesn't look like there was any damage they said to the actual blind spot monitors. They seem to be working, but per specifications from Hyundai, you still have to go through the calibration. We're gonna do that too. We have no DTCs, that's a good thing. We're gonna go back out and we'll get into our ADOS calibration. Remember, stay on Wi-Fi at all times so we can access that secure gateway module. We have camera, radar, blind spot monitoring that we can calibrate. We're gonna start with the camera. They do give you two options, dynamic or static. We're gonna do the dynamic and show that procedure to you right now. So the VIN is unlocked. Again, that secure gateway is a little, can be a little tricky. 
All right, this procedure will calibrate the lane keep assistance system or the lane departure warning system. You'll also see it called the forward facing camera on this vehicle. Uh, anytime the windshield is removed or replaced, we know we've got to do that. So that's one of the reasons we're going to go ahead and calibrate this now. Now, again, before we do this, make sure your tires are inflated to the correct PSI. I don't want to see that tire warning light on or anything like that. Vehicle's not loaded, so no unnecessary weight, uh, and the camera does not have an obstructed view. Also, one other thing that should be on here that you as a technician also need to be doing before you get into this ADOS procedures is make sure the vehicle is aligned properly. You don't realize that toe on the front of these vehicles will affect the camera angle. So make sure the alignment has been done prior to any ADOS calibration. We'll press continue. Now the minimum speed is gonna be 22 miles. It takes approximately 1.1 mile to do this uh, procedure. Try and get some roads that have good lanes, lines, signs, cars coming at you. The more, the better. The nice thing about the uh, Hyundai though, is if you did come to a red light, we're forced to slow down. It'll just pause the calibration and pick back up once you get up to speed again. So be prepared to drive before continuing. So I am not gonna press continue until I am in the vehicle and we'll hit the road and press continue that. Got a good road that I like to drive to do these calibrations on. We're going to select continue and a couple warnings there about driving and how long it should take, but it doesn't take too long and you'll see that once we start going here. Again, above 21 miles per hour, the more stuff that you have, the better lane markings, things like that. So the calibration is complete. We do need to find a safe location before we can press continue. So we'll find somewhere where we can stop. Don't be alarmed, there's some warnings on the dash right now. Even though it says calibrated is complete, don't be alarmed. When we stop and shut the vehicle down and restart it, should take care of that, fingers crossed. And the calibration is successfully completed. Pretty easy to do. Just again, make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection so you can stay in that secure gateway at all times. So now we're back at our main screen. Now remember, I also said that we had a problem that they had impact and removed the rear bumper. So they said they didn't see any damage. According to the body shop, everything looked okay. But according to Hyundai, I still need to calibrate that. So we're gonna go into the blind spot monitoring. And we're gonna go through that calibration. You have left rear and right rear. We'll just start with the top one and do the left. And honestly, it's the same procedure for the right side as well. So we'll just do the left one so you can see that and see how it's done as well. Make sure that the alignment's correct. They said that nothing was damaged, so we should be good with that as well. Again, perform the calibration when a uh, new sensor is installed, when you replace or remove rear bumper. So even though there wasn't any reason to have to service the sensors, no damage was done to them, the bumper did come off. So we're gonna go ahead and calibrate that. Looks like we're hitting the road again. Calibration may take up to 30 seconds to self-align um, while it's being driven. So we'll press continue and it's already done. 
<laughs> we didn't have to go far and we didn't have to go long. You were gonna repeat the procedure for the left rear blind spot sensor as well, but it is just as simple, so I don't think we need to walk you through that right now. If you can do one, you can do the other. Now that the camera's calibrated and the blind spot sensors have been calibrated, just like all of your calibrations, test drive to verify that they are working as designed. it's super easy to calibrate these windshield cameras and these blind spot monitors with our ADOS link. Last thing I need to do is just go ahead and print out our post scan showing there are no DTCs and also provide a copy of the certificate of completion for a successful calibration, which we did. No warning lights on the dash. I can safely return this back to the customer. If you want to learn some more about ADOS, make sure you hit the Hunter YouTube page for a ton more videos of me doing calibrations just like this. Thanks for watching. See you on the next calibration.